Hey chess lovers, welcome back to the chess yard. This is the Bagga, and today I'll be playing the final blitz on Lee Chess. And during the game, I'll try to be as instructive as possible, like always, making sure that there's something to be taken away as a learning that helps you improve your game to the next level. Now, before we start with the game, I request you to subscribe to my channel and press on the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of the videos that I'm posting up daily without a miss. So yeah, let's start with the game and see how it goes. Got the black pieces. I'll play the Karakhan defense, which starts with c6, followed by d5, the main move. Uh, probably open plays pawn forward, yes, on d5. So yeah, I play d5. Open play e4 there. I'll take, the, it's the Karakhan exchange variation where the opponent does exchange instead of proceeding with the pawn, which becomes the advanced variation otherwise. I go with knight here, and then this is coming. Uh, can play pawn forward as well. Either way it works. I'll play pawn forward first, so that I have the bishop out as well, if in case the opponent gets the knight. Okay, trying to pressurize my knight is the way my opponent has chosen here i defend with my bishop maybe now the knight comes in or pawn forward and trying to attack doesn't do that okay i'll take i have this pawn forward as well let's kick this bishop away Yep, let's do it. If he does take, I'll take with the pawn so that uh, I can have this as well. Doesn't, so I'll proceed with the pawn. Open goes back. Um, I can gain some more space, maybe. Let's develop, focus on development first. Bishop comes here, and then we're buying this battery on the h2 eventually. I was, no, no, I don't don't want to take on the pieces which are not yet developed by the opponent. I have this knight move going on. I have... Okay, let's go back. Um, just looks like a bit passive, but yeah, the idea is to checkmate here. Opponent would generally place his knight here, defending the h2. Oh, pawn forward. That's interesting. That is an interesting idea. That's a bit more aggressive, I would say. I have this knight coming there. Um, that actually doesn't work. How about just reinforcing my bishop there back and then thinking of this. Okay, attacks my queen, so I have to just sidestep here for a moment. I have this knight now coming on e4, which is the central square. Yes, we do can take and then play f5 as well. That can be one of the ideas, stopping him from playing forward ever again. Um, knight can be easily stopped by one move, so I don't take that risk. Okay, I'll go up first. Open would generally take here is what I'm assuming. I can of course take any point of time, but then he gets the nice pawn chain, opened a file. Ah, that can be deadly. Oh, queen comes in. Let's play pawn forward. Solidifying this, if the opponent does take, I can take back as well. This should be helpful. A rook lift can also come in into picture. Queen is also there. The other rook can come into the picture pretty quick after the rook lift. So, a lot of ideas there. A spawn forward. That's a simple move that can lead to some pawn break as well. Okay, I'll take the pawn so that 
Uh, just in case he does take here, I can take with the pawn. Okay, uh, we like to double up. No, doesn't work that way. Let's have a pawn break. Does it help me actually? It doesn't matter. Okay, I'll take. Uh, this doesn't work, but if I take this with the knight and then I can take this. So I'll take his knight first out of the game, maybe. Let's see what he does take with. And then I have this move, which is tricky. Because I get to take this. He takes this, I take this. That's a nice move. At least looks like for now. Don't screw me over. Queen here. And then I can play pawn forward. Or maybe a knight. Oh, if queen here, then he loses the queen. Queen goes here instead. And he still loses the queen. <laughs> Knights, knight play. And resignation maybe. On time. Or he still got some fight. Ah, nah. You don't leave. Anything there. Ah, that was a nice knight play. Both the knights against bishop pair, which was inactive. Generally, the bishop pairs are stronger. But yeah, knight pair works out this time. I love knights anyways. So yeah, let's analyze the game from computer perspective. Side over d4, open play c c uh, So open play d4, I play c6. And then e4, I play d5. Take takes and then bishop comes on b5. I can say with the bishop, but I take did with the knight. And then open develops the knight. I play pawn forward. Open comes in with the knight. I defend with the bishop. Takes takes. And then pawn forward, taking the bishop away and pushing forward. Do all the pawns. Then eyeing on the right diagonal towards the king side. And then f4 was surprising to me, but I cancelled them and then got my bishop back. And then just lining up on the diagonal. If you see the evaluation bar simultaneously on the right side, uh, it's hardly to choose from both the sides. I'm slightly advantageous after he played g4. And that's generally because you should never play uh, all your pawns ahead of king. Uh, because these were the safety pawns for your king after you have castled. Or you should have castled on the queen side and then went with the, go ahead with these pawns. But man, that's bad. Technically, it's not right. I went with knight e4, open plays queen f3, and I sp did spot. I spotted that move later, maybe. Yeah, that was a nice move, as I said in the game. But I spotted that later after the open does take. I take with the pawn. And then open plays king h1. The idea is to just get his rook active. Uh, I went with pawn break, uh, which I thought that it might not work. And then I saw that after I take the pawn, um, I can take this straight away. But then still I thought I'll just take the bishop first and then go ahead with the plan. Open didn't take, but just tried to move his queen. Uh, he should have actually taken and I take the bishop. That, should, that looks nice. Uh, yes, I have this check coming in, but you can save that. So not a big deal there. And then probably save the moment and fight, live to fight the other day. Uh, open could have exchanged some stuff there. These two central pawns are connected and could be advantageous. But yeah, I have a knight against a bishop. Uh, and I have this, uh, this passer as well. Uh, thanks to the knight, that can be more troublesome. And then I can do a rook lift and just correct my rooks and then go for the kill. Uh, so yeah, a lot of things can happen there. That's why black has slight advantage even after that. But since my open lost the queen, after placing queen on the wrong square, uh, that's a fork. And so I had the other fork in the mind actually. If he plays queen, suppose trying to just going for a checkmate in case I take on the pawn or something. Then also a folk comes in and uh, that's also troublesome. Yep, so anyways, he was going to lose queen either this way, I was thinking, but he went for the other way. Uh, the best move, as I said, was to just take on the knight and then save the day for that, that point of time. I hope you liked the video. Uh, do let me know your feedback. 
and keep watching and sharing do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already i'm making these videos on a daily basis and there's something to be taken away as a learning always for example in this game knight pairs uh was more active and that's why more stronger than the bishop pair so yeah always hold on to your important pieces and more importantly more active pieces that's how you should always go about your game uh thanks for watching and yeah keep keep coming back to the channel daily take care bye bye